Mark, thanks. In southeastern Connecticut, folks there aren't taking any chances either. They spent the day boarding up. Some even decided to leave their homes. News 8's Jamie Miro on the scene in Old Saybrook with a look at what people are doing. We're in Old Saybrook. The view is fantastic. And when you talk to folks, well, they know their hurricane history. Actually, the woman that lives in this house tells me in the hurricane of 38, this was picked up and pushed across the street. Then in the hurricane of 55, it was picked up and moved down the street. The difference now is Old Saybrook has put in the seawalls. So you talk to some people, they do have confidence in the storm that's about to come. Perhaps Catherine Hepburn still serves as a shining example about the grittiness of the people of Old Saybrook. The hurricane of 38 didn't slow her down, and Irene won't stop some people from staying put as she blows through. Well, I'm not in this house, I'm not staying. I'm going to be about a house back from the beach, so it'll be a little better. The town has declared a state of emergency, and a shelter will be opened up at the local high school. In the meantime, many are dropping their hurricane shutters and are anxiously looking forward to Monday. Well, we put away all the outside furniture and secured, you know, there's nothing loose to blow around. And inside we took down everything that we Today. thought would be rattled, you know, with the wind. So we took all the knickknacks and the uh, photographs, photographs off the walls. And more or less that's about, you know, that's about it. Just hope and pray that we don't get the real bang. Houses aren't supposed to move, but other investments many have out here are being moved to safer and drier ground. I had a boat here in Glory, the same marina, and it got damaged, so that's why I want to go as far north as possible. Hepburn witnessed a storm of historic proportions in 38. That storm is still talked about today, especially now. But obviously, history doesn't need to repeat itself. I'll probably end up with friends at the high school. They're going to go at to the, the high school at the shelter, so I'll probably go with them. He's on his own. According to Old Saybrook's website, there is no mandatory evacuation at this point, but if there was going to be an evacuation, then they would let folks on the shoreline know a few hours before they would put that mandatory evacuation into effect. On the scene in Old Saybrook, I'm Jamie Muro, News 8. Yeah.